This is day three of Vacation Bible School here at Brewster Baptist Church, and our passage for today is very appropriate. It's from 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 1 through 11, and it's a passage about spiritual gifts and how God gives each and every one of us at least one or two spiritual gifts that we are to use to glorify God, to build up the body, which is the church, and to edify or to encourage or bless other people. So if you've ever taken a spiritual gift discovery class, which we've taught here at BBC for more than 25 years, uh, or if you haven't, uh, we encourage you to take it the next time it's presented. But learning our spiritual gifts and learning, you know, do I have the gift of mercy or the gift of shepherding or the gift of helps or the gift of administration or uh, whatever that particular gift may be, uh, to learn that as well as your own personal style. Am I a people-oriented kind of person or am I more task-oriented? Am I more structured in how I approach my day and my work and my serving or am I more unstructured? Uh, those sorts of things all help to guide us towards where it's appropriate and fitting for us to serve. In the church in Corinth, there were a number of factions, which I alluded to in my sermon this past Sunday. Some people saying, I belong to Apollos, or I belong to Cephas, meaning Peter, uh, and others saying they belong to, to Christ. And Paul points out, you know, it's never a sign of a healthy church when there are people who aren't committed to the church as a whole, and they're committed more to being part of a small group that they think are better than the rest. And Paul's telling the Corinthians, that's not the way it should be. And even the fact that you have different gifts, this is all part of God's design. And again, I encourage you to read 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 1 through 11. Our verse for the day is that final verse, in verse 11, where Paul says, all these, meaning all the different spiritual gifts, are activated by one and the same Spirit, who allots to each one individually just as the Spirit chooses. So here at Vacation Bible School Week, for example, we have team leaders who are going around with small groups of children, and we have people serving in the media booth who may have a very different skill set to help to present the videos and the music that children will listen to. And we have people helping to run games and uh, doing crafts and providing refreshments. And it often takes a, a different gift mix, if you will, to do these different ministry tasks. Uh, I hope, however young or old you are, that uh, you are using your gifts in some way to glorify God, to help build up the church, and to bless or to edify other people. And even if you may be in uh, the fourth quarter of your life, uh, remember you can still share encouragement, you can still intercede and pray, uh, even if you spend most of your time at home. You can still do those two things that help all of us who may be more on the front active lines of person-to-person -person ministry, but we need the encouragement of prayers of those of you uh, who are maybe home or can't do that or, or do things as you may have done when maybe you were a little younger or your life situation was a little different. But remember, it's one and the same spirit that unites us all in one body in Christ, and we all need each other to be whole.